Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the April 2023 update for Windows 11 22H2. This is an update for the main release, which is not optional. And for those of you who don't know how the main release works, basically we have two different updates per month, which is the B release and the C release. The C release is an optional update, but the B release, which we're talking about today, was released last night. And this is a mandatory update that also includes security improvements that are very useful and required for your system security. The build number for this update is the build 22,061.155 and this is the latest OS build or update for the main release. And of course, if you are on the main release and you are not enrolled in the Windows Insider program, you will receive this update. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 updates, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechPage channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. As I said at the beginning, this update includes security improvements improvements for the system. If you want to learn more about what security improvements were added in particular, you can check out the article below in the video's description. And in particular to this build, this update implements the new Windows Local Administrator Password Solution as a Windows Inbox feature. For more information, yet again, you can check out the article below. And also, this update addresses a compatibility issue. The issue occurs because of unsupported use of the registry. And this update also includes the new features and improvements from the last month's C release. And I'm just going to remind you some of the highlights from that. This update introduces notifications for Microsoft accounts in the start menu with some different visuals or variants. I think this is pretty interesting. Also, the search box on the taskbar will be lighter when you set windows to a custom color mode. This will occur when you set the windows mode to dark and the app mode to light and settings, personalization and colors. This update addresses an issue that affects the notepad combo box and settings. It fails to show all the available options. Also, an issue that affects Microsoft PowerPoint is fixed. It makes it stop working and this occurs when you use the accessibility tools. Also in this update, once you have access to the new Bing, the search box on the taskbar might include a button that opens the Bing chat experience in Microsoft Edge. If you don't have access to it, the search box on the taskbar will feature a dynamic search highlight button. And in this update, of course, we also have a Windows 11 service and stack update, which ensures that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. So basically, these are the highlights for this new feature update for the main release. You can check out the full list of improvements, changes, and fixes in the article below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechPage channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechPage. Until next time, have a nice day.